Joining us now to discuss retired Army Brigadier General Mark Kimmick. Good to have you on, sir. Thanks for taking the time this morning. Uh, sure, Jim. So, so still an ongoing investigation, right? Uh, but, but it appears the most likely scenario is that this was either a Ukrainian air defense missile or perhaps a combination of that and, and a Russian missile that it strike. But that kind of strike in the midst of a massive Russian barrage on Ukrainian territory, which was taking place during this time frame, who bears responsibility? Well, look, I mean, ultimately, Russia bears responsibility for this. They're the ones that shot the cruise missiles, uh, candidly. They're the ones that started, started this unprovoked war. So while there may have been tactical mistakes made on the ground, uh, the responsibility is clearly with President Putin and no one else. And what about, you know, as we just heard from Matthew, the Polish prime minister, uh, noting that there is an indication that likely it was this Ukrainian missile defense uh, system that intercepted a Russian missile, but that fragments of both, uh, they appear to have found fragments of both on the ground there in Poland. What does that tell you about just how close Russia is potentially getting with these strikes to the Polish border? Well, you know, it could very well be that they intentionally programmed those cruise missiles to fly near the border, uh, believing that the Ukrainians would hold their fire for fear of this very incident. Uh, but it was responsible on the part of the Ukrainians to defend their people. So if the uh, Russians, in my mind, probably tried to get this as close to the border as possible uh, to cause the Ukrainians not to shoot at it, I mean, that's just another of a series of war crimes that have been committed by President Putin. Did you, you saw a lot of, we heard a lot of caution from U.S. and NATO officials last night saying, let, let's not, you know, jump to a conclusion here about what happened. Uh, we're, we're watching this very closely. That caution seemed to be warranted. Did Ukrainian leaders make a mistake by immediately calling this, characterizing this as a Russian strike on Poland? Well, uh, again, I'm not sure that uh, the Ukrainians are, were necessarily part of that deliberative, methodical process at the NATO headquarters. Uh, but these kind of accidents, I mean, it, we've often said the first report is usually wrong when it comes to warfare. So I think what NATO did to kind of take a deep breath, try right. to figure out what was going on, was the right thing to do. We also heard from uh, NATO Secretary General this morning who said one of the top priorities now is to provide more air defense systems for Ukraine. Do you think this incident will speed up that support and or the timeline for more air defense systems or any when it comes to uh, what's being supplied to Ukraine? Yeah, well, I certainly hope so. Not only more, but also more accurate, more uh, mm. advanced weapon system that we've seen so far. I mean, this could very well have been the same type of missile, a book missile that brought down the Singapore Airlines four mm. years ago in 2017. Mm. Uh, not very accurate. Uh, depends on a second generation type of guidance system. So more accurate, more of them would make things more safe. Brigadier General Mark Kimmett, always appreciate your insight, your expertise. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.